Good morning, welcome back. It's been a while. <laughs> uh, by the time you actually finally watch this video, it will probably have been the best part of four weeks since my last upload. Apologies for that, it's just a combination of uh, timing with work, good weather windows, a bit of injury, a bit of injury recovery and motivation to be honest with you. So uh, it's been a little while, um, but we're back. We're back and we're gonna do the final leg of the Lakeland 100 section before the Lakeland 50, if that makes sense. <laughs> we're basically, we're doing leg eight from Dockray to Dalmain. Dalmain, Dalmain, Dalemain, Dalemain. Let's go with Dalemain. So like I said, it's been a while, so we're just gonna get on with it. I'm just gonna get on and explain what we're gonna do today, okay? Uh, so leg eight, Dockray to Dalemain. It's a 10.1 mile leg, so it's gonna be a bit of a long one today, I should imagine. Uh, it depends on how I feel. When I get down to Dale, Maine, uh, I might just hoof it down to Pooley Bridge and get the bus back. If, uh, if It's a Sunday, it's Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Yeah, I just had to check then. <laughs> Sunday, the 16th of April. So whether the bus is run, who knows? I guess I'll find out. If I'm feeling strong, I might just turn around and come back like I normally do. But of course, like I mentioned just now, there's been a few injuries that have kind of hampered the progression of these videos. A bit of Achilles issues, a bit of knee issues. So we're just gonna see how we get on with this run because it, it will be the first one in about a week, week and a bit, so yeah. Anywho, let's crack on with the description. So as normal, as usual, I'm choosing three waypoints out of the route card to kind of like help us progress through this run. First waypoint is blah, blah, blah. God, I gotta find it. Where the hell have I put it now? Waypoint one I've taken from bullet po bullet poot. Oh, keep doing that, don't I? Bullet poot, <laughs> taking it from bullet poot five. However, we're gonna start reading bullet point four to give you some context. Bear left through gate onto open fell, Ulls Waterway. Keep left and contour round, full stop. Take left northeast, fork steep uphill. Continue to contour round, go, gow, go, gow, go, gow, go barrow, taking left forks. Bullet point five, at building ruin, bear right north northeast through wall gate, over foot bridge and through gate into Swinburne's Park. So that building ruin is going to be waypoint one. On the map, that's marked as a hunting lodge. So judging by this route card, it's a ruin. Um, however, on the map, on the map it's probably a hollow square, but it's too small, I couldn't see it. So that's going to be waypoint one, that building ruin at the beginning of bullet point five. Waypoint two, I'm going to take from, or I am taking from bullet point seven. And the very first part of that, turn right. Follow road, take care, through Bennett Head. So Bennett Head, little, the little village slash town slash hamlet slam, slam slash small cluster of buildings is Bennett Head. That's gonna be waypoint two. And then waypoint three, blah, 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 blah. Oh my God, I need my glasses. And waypoint three, I've taken from the last bullet point, bullet point nine. After 75 meters, turn right through metal gate and over cattle grid onto public footpath round Dacra Castle. Dacra Castle is gonna be waypoint three. Uh, yeah, and that's the waypoints. Uh, and then obviously the, uh, the checkpoint, checkpoint eight, is Dale Main Mansion. There's a marquee in the field in Dale Main Mansion, so it'll be in there. I'll be honest, one of the reasons why I had a bit of motivational issues is I'm not really looking forward to this section. It's, uh, there's quite a bit on metalled road and it's quite flat, which I guess isn't a bad thing seeing that I'm kind of trying to recover from a couple of injuries. So yeah, it'd be good, but it is quite a long leg. So the return leg will give it, make it up to at least 20 miles, might be 22 miles today, if I decide to run back that is. But yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's just a bit of an un, uninspiring section. However, the, um, the National Trust houses, or if they are National Trust, who knows, but the Castle and Dale Main House, they're, they're quite interesting. So from that point of view, it would be quite a nice, you know, a, a nice change. 
um, from normal fells and hills and all that sort of gubbins. So uh, yeah, maybe 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 it'll win me over. I should imagine it will. Anyway, I'm starting to ramble, so we, I'm just going to get ready and uh, we're going to crack on. Right, let's go. Oh. So as you can see, uh, on the last leg, uh, we came down the old coach road, which is there. Uh, we've come into the car park now. And uh, yeah, there would have been a marquee, well, there will be a marquee here on, on the actual race day. And then, yeah, the next leg to Dale Main House, uh, we're gonna bomb down the, um, the metalled road just down there and head into Dockway. And then we're gonna pass, we're going, we're gonna, we're going to go past Area Falls, Area Falls, Area -A -A Falls, A-I-R-E Falls, A-I-R-A Falls, <laughs> uh, yeah, really nice uh, waterfall. I've never actually been there, so I'm gonna stop off. We're gonna go check that out. So, right, first stop's Dockray. Second stop's Aero Falls. Aero Falls, I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. Who knows, who cares, who cares? Right, let's just go. Let's just get on with it. Oh my God. <laughs> I really need to get to grips with um, pronouncing these names. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna head down here now. As you can see, actually, the weather's not too bad. It's overcast. The forecast did say it was going to be a nice light wind and there's not going to be any rain. However, it is a bit chilly, but once we get going, it should warm up. So, you know, and now we've got this nice, nice stretch of road. All right, I'm going to stop chatting. We're going to get on with this now. So, ooh, it'd be quite interesting to see, actually, because uh, I actually, last time I was up here, I was gonna do this leg, and then I changed my mind because I didn't have the motivation for it. So I decided to uh, go up Clough Head. However, on the way to Clough Head, my Achilles started to play up. So I had to, you know, go back to, you know, give up on it. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see uh, how all the niggles play out over this run. Uh, had an issue with my knee. However, I've started to uh, do some strength and conditioning on the knee, specifically squats, and uh, they seem to be working so far. So, I mean, it's a good example of the fact that strength work is really important for, uh, you know, mitigating against injuries and stuff like that. You know, it really is. And uh, I should really do more of it. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get on with this run. And we're heading down there now. As you can see, just down into the valley, around that big lump, around the right-hand side. Aira Falls, Aria Falls, Air, Air, Air. Right, for the purposes of this run, they're known as Aira Falls. I'm sure some of you are gonna enlighten me on the print, um, connect. Oh my God, I can't even speak. Right, let's stop running. <sighs> Pronounced Aira Falls. Oh my God. So here we are, coming into Dockray. That was a nice, uh, nice gentle downhill there from uh, checkpoint seven. But yeah, so we're in Dockray now. That's the Royal Hotel. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's have a quick look at the route card. Tell us where we're going next. So here, bullet point one, straight over at crossroads, follow road for 1.6 kilometers into Dockray, straight across main road. There's the main road. Straight across main road to take footpath to right of White House, signpost Air Falls past farm building on right. So that's the white house, I'm gonna guess, straight over the main road, past that white house, and just over there should be the signpost for Air Falls. Air Falls, Area Falls. Oh my God, I gotta go. I'm gonna have to get this right sometime. <laughs> so we're gonna head down here, past the farmhouse on the right-hand side. <coughs> yeah, I know how you feel, mate. Go on, give us another. Go on. <laughs> box, box. Box, box. 
No, he's not having it. Oh, fuck. They're like dinosaurs with wings, these guys are. Come on. There you go. I know how he feels. <laughs> All right, let's get on with this. Coming up to waypoint one, the ruin it says, which I think is the old hunting lodge, shooting lodge. Uh, let's just have a look at it. The old building ruin. So if you look at the map, uh, hang on, let's just have a look at the map quickly. Oh, boggy. Oh. So if you look at this uh, on here, this structure is actually listed as a shooting lodge but it's the uh but it's a ruin as you can see yeah so don't know when it was last used i'm gonna say quite a while ago <laughs> to have it got to uh to this state that's for sure <sighs> so we'll have a quick look at the route card so you go through bullet point four bare left through gate onto open fell oswater way which is the path that we've just come up keep left and contour round take left northeast fork steep uphill continue to contour around go barrow taking left forks waypoint uh bullet point five at building ruin bear right north north east through wall gate over footbridge and through gate into swinsburn park so that over there is gate in wall and you go through there through the woodland into swinsbeck park swinsburn park Swinburne's Park. There's the little footbridge that you've got to go over. And that's what we would be doing. <laughs> but there's been a change of plan, unfortunately, which kind of sucks for me and sucks for you. But as we were coming around, well, as I was coming around the path, just around there, uh, it's all going nice, it was all going well. You know, I was monitoring and keeping an eye on all the little niggles that I've got. 
and my Achilles and my right Achilles, I was like, right, it's doing really, really well. I'm pretty confident. And then it started to get painful. And I was like, oh, God damn it. So yeah, there's absolutely no way that I'm gonna be able to smash out a 20 miler. To be honest with you, I didn't really think I would be anyway. And I was gonna try and get the bus back to Airy Falls. But you know, no plan survives first contact, as they say. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna go up to Airy Crag, up to the trig point up there, chill for a bit, have a sandwich, have some jelly babies. And uh, yeah, just head back to the car. So unfortunately, yeah, this is really gonna, the thing with Achilles injuries is that when they're painful, it's, it's too late. <laughs> and I had thought, I had hoped it was just a muscular thing as opposed to tendon thing, which is why I pushed the boundaries a bit today, only a week after. But I think what I'm gonna have to do is give it a minimum of two weeks. So uh, I, will, I will edit this and I will upload it, even though technically you could say it's a bit of a fail, but pff, I haven't posted for quite a while. So I'm gonna edit this and upload it. Uh, yeah, and give you the guys the pleasure of my downfall. <laughs> but yeah, I've, I mean, I, I've got a race in July. So I want to get prepped up for that. Other plan I have is I want to do a personal FKT on the Cape Wrath Trail. I'm going to thinking of doing that in June. Uh, so that will be two weeks of hoofing it through West Highlands and all that sort of thing. But I want to do it as quickly as I can, preferably in 10 to 12 days. So that's a personal project. And obviously I want to, I want to be fit for that. Uh, and on top of that, any other personal projects? Well, initially it was going to be Cape Wrath or Pennine Way. Never done the Pennine Way. Have done the Cape Wrath south to north. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. I might change it to the Pennine Way. But then the Cape Wrath, I do like the isolation and the wilderness up there. However, I don't like the midges. <laughs> I haven't got a problem with the rain or the bog. That's just a given really. So yeah. And then for the rest of the year, just more running really. Obviously I want to increase my strength training to mitigate against injuries like this. But um, yeah, it's an ongoing, it's an ongoing struggle. All right, let's get up this trig point and have some lunch. us getting back to checkpoint seven now. Oh, what a disaster. Is it a disaster? Well, it's the second fail, seven to eight, checkpoint seven to checkpoint eight. Second time I've tried it. Second time I've had to turn around. Uh, well, actually, no, that's complete and utter bollocks. It's the first time I've had to turn around between seven and eight. When I first got up here, I just decided I didn't want to do it. 
so went off and did something else, but had to, uh, had to finish that early because of uh, the Achilles. Ooh, there's a couple of geese here. I do like geese. Let's go and have a look, look at some geese. So there's two types here. There's Canada geese and these other ones. I'm not sure what these other ones are. Orange beaks. Give us a go give us a squawk. No, not having it. All right then. So yeah, coming up to checkpoint seven. <sighs> yeah, would I say this is a fail? Yeah, I think I would. However, it's my own fault really because in the grand scheme of things, this would have been a long run and it's not the sort of thing you do trying to come back off a ankle injury. So I'm a bit of a dick really, to be honest with you, but I always am and I never seem to learn for some reason. So yeah, my body's trying to give me a hint and I just don't take it. So this time I am. So I'm not entirely sure when my next video is gonna be, to be honest with you. Will it be a running video? Will it be a kit review? Will it be, I have been thinking of doing one of a top five tips for getting into fell running. Maybe I'll do that. However, the initial plan was to do it whilst fell running. Maybe I won't. <laughs> Not for the next couple of weeks anyway. So I can see myself needing to take at least, I reckon three to four weeks off now with some uh, strength rehab. Oh dear, what an idiot. Oh well, you live and learn. Well, I say that, but I never seem to. <laughs> anyway, right, back at the car park. As you can see, I think I'm becoming, becoming quite well acquainted with this car park. All right, all right then, well, I hope you enjoyed what run we did do today. Like I say, I'm not sure when the next video is gonna be, but until, that, until then, yeah, take care. See you soon. Well, will I? Probably not. <laughs> oh.